What's going on guys? It's your boy Steve. I'm here with my boy Sean. And we are the real ghost guys. Guys, we have finally made it. We are at Elmhurst Inn in Ingersoll, Ontario. What a trip up. It was, uh, the weather was crazy to say the least. But we are here. We have made it. And we're going to tell you exactly why we're here. Starting right now. The reason that our journey brought us here to Elmhurst is because there is supposedly a spirit by the name of Mary that walks around these grounds, especially the restaurant area of the current spa slash hotel, which was originally their home. We'll definitely be going there to check it out. And technically we're gonna be breaking in, so don't tell anybody, but uh, yeah, let's keep that on the down low. But a little bit of backstory on James. James was born in uh, Salem, Massachusetts in 1832 and uh, eventually made a move over to Ingersoll uh, area about early or late 50s. And uh, he ended up building this house here in Ingersoll in 1860. Then he built his cheese factory. I think it was uh, just five years later after that. And uh, it was a very famous cheese factory. It supplied pretty much the whole world as far as we could tell. Uh, it was in the world records for uh, the biggest cheese. But uh, the story that we're here for is Mary, his second wife. And uh, story has it, Mary went a little crazy. According to the story that we got from one of the staff members that currently works here, James was not so faithful in his relationship with Mary. It's said that Mary actually caught James in the act with one of the maids that the family had hired at the time being unfaithful. He, she caught them cheating. James was doing the hokey pokey with somebody else and Mary. Apparently, Mary sat and stewed in her husband's unfaithfulness for a little while before it actually drove her insane. So yeah, she went crazy and uh, apparently killed her kids. She went crazy and killed the entire family. Whether that family includes some of the members that were working there, whether that includes the maid, we're not 100% sure. Yeah. But we know that she did go crazy and killed off more than one member of her family. Yeah. That's for sure. For sure. He was cheating on them. They said that she caught them. And then went crazy and like killed their children and like everything. After, I guess, the, uh, the incident happened, she kind of came to the re realization that she had done this act and uh, that even drove her even more crazy and then she ended up killing herself. And it is said now that the Elmhurst Inn is haunted by her. Her ghost. Mary's unsettled spirit still walks the halls of the Elmhurst today. And that same staff member that we were having the conversation with about the history said that she still, even in certain areas of the restaurant, feels chills and has to stop and actually tell Mary to leave her alone. That's right. And the chills will pass. And uh, yeah, she also told us some stories where some stuff started flying, some silverware and the uh, in the uh, restaurant section which was the old house also some of the chandeliers have been known to move around and they swing in a room that has no fans exactly is what so, she said yeah uh, we're, we're definitely going to try and investigate into that as i said it's we have to go in there after it closes unfortunately to film it's a very very small window between when they close down and when the head manager gets here, we have that little, about an hour to film because once the manager does get here, uh, apparently she does not allow anybody in that room. So we gotta do it before she shows up. And also to boot on top of it, we are in the hotel part that was built in uh, 1988. 
and uh, it has been said that Mary makes her way over here from time to time and uh, apparently room 105 has been brought up a lot as one of the rooms that has the most paranormal activity up this side of the uh, of the hotel and uh, guess what room we're in 105 go go so this is gonna be exciting guys uh, I can't wait to get started uh, we got lots of stuff to do. We're going to take video of the grounds. We also have, we're going to the graveyard tonight to uh, try and find James Harris's uh, tombstone. We also got the, uh, there's a trail in the back that's supposedly kind of like secret trail. Not a lot of people make their way down there. Uh, Mary has been said to make her way down there. So we're going to go check that out uh, during the day. So probably in the next half an hour or so. And then we're also going to make a trip there at night in, in pure darkness. And there's not much light down there, guys, so it's, this is going to be kind of creepy. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, I, can't, I can't wait. Hopefully we find something. Hopefully we get some answers. Hopefully we can actually communicate with Mary. That's the goal. That is the goal. We want to find out the truth. That's what we're here for, guys. Yeah. So, if, uh, if you're excited, like we're excited... Hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, because things are about to get wild. Well, we made it, guys. Elmhurst Inn. This is the entrance. Elmhurst Inn and Spa. This is it, the Elmhurst Inn and Spa and the plethora of ghost stories that come along with this place. You ready Sean? You ready to find these ghosts? This place is massive, bro. What do we got? What? There's what? Swimming? Yeah, I swear I just seen there was just like a little stream of something swimming over to the side over there. And now there's nothing. See? Now there's. See? See? Oh, yeah, just yeah. went down. That's it. Let's go find out what it is. What we got? Whatever it is, it's right under all that muck. I see it swim under. Uh, well, the camera's not really picking it up. Then we got like a couple of rocks or something to throw in there. All right guys, we're back to our floor right now. Just spent like 25 minutes outside. We didn't really get much. The temperature fell drastically, but yeah. Let's uh, set into the room, see if there's anything going on there. Yo, the tennis ball. The tennis ball. Tennis ball. It's on the bed. Yeah, what the fuck? Where'd you put it? Yeah, I'll put it right up here, bro. I'll put it right up there. What the fuck? This one's still there. That one's still there. 
That one's still there. Dude! Look. It fell, it fell again. again. It fell again. What the fuck? Alright. Alright, so. So we got some activity going on. Yeah. These bells. Basically, we shouldn't waste any more time outside. No. Inside. Yeah, I think so. These bells are still there. Okay. Again, guys, like. I don't get it. Like, this handle doesn't move. What is going on? It has something to do with this closet, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna put that back. Alright, this is crazy. Whole thing. Up. Oh. Alright. So to tell you what's happening right now, we're getting readings off the EMF. Yeah. And Steve phone. had his phone in the other hand, so he figured it was his phone, but now like as we've been testing it, as we've been testing it, the phone's not making it go off. Like it's going up a little bit because obviously there's. But it's not going off to make field, it beep. It's, it's not beeping. It's right now it's at zero. One, five. Like it goes up to about a one at max. And at one point, it went up to like 20 something. So we got, we got some stuff here. Like, so it's not the phone. I don't know. Try that. Try, no, try putting your EMF to that EMF and see if it gets. No, so it's not that. It's not the phone. Given, I know people in the comments are going to say, you're in a hotel room, there's electric all over, all, but we've had it on in the room. Walked no, we're around, not getting anything. Walked around the whole room, didn't get anything, put it up to a light socket, right. got like a mm. little tiny flick. This is reading nothing either. And before it started going off, we were just talking about Mary, actually. Steve just said he's gonna roast Mary on the Ouija board. I did say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mary Mary's a little upset. But that's the Ouija board, by the way. Yeah, we got that stuff. We're, we're, it's gonna happen tonight, 3 a.m., the witching hour. Look where this phone is now. Good enough. So, yeah, I don't know what the hell. Crazy shit. Room 105, baby. This was it's the beginning. So the next point four. So definitely unexplained. Oh, dude, what the f it's not the phone. I don't know why it's even like that, but it's not the phone. Like. It's stuck at 13.8 right now. It's not even going down. That's crazy. Why is it not going down? It's stuck there. It's broken. I don't know. Going up. It'll go up, it won't go down. That's broken. What the fuck's going on? Alright, let me if we reset it. Okay, resetting it. Okay. Back to zero, reset it. I got nothing. And it's not like you had an app open or like the phone would be using. I'll open up a, or my Facebook. Not like the phone would be using extra electricity or anything like that. Like it's. Oh. We're at three, but it's still not beeping. It looks like it's stuck. This is some crazy stuff. Alright, Mary. If you're here with us, this is room 105, guys. Mary could be here right now. If you're here with us, make this device in front of me go off. Make the device go off. 
Make any of our two devices go off, Mary. Shake one of the bells. That's right. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, yeah, she got right. pissed because you said you were going to roast her on the Ouija. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to roast you on this Ouija board. So if you... Oh. If you got if you got something to say, say it now. Cause once that Ouija board comes out, me and you we're gonna have a, a heart to heart. <laughs> Ew, it's that stuck again. Alright, well I'll be seeing you, don't worry. Ready out, it's coming around. Right. That's crazy. Alright guys, we are making our way down to the the trail. It is dark out here. Oh, there we go. Just hit a five. We hit a five? Zero, 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 five. Yeah, that's, that's what we want. Okay, so there's something here. We just don't know where it is. It could be all around us. All right, so the light posts are on, so that's good. Got a little extra lighting at least. Now it has been said that Mary does make her her presence felt down here a lot. So hopefully we can pick something up here with the EMF reader. Mary, if you can hear us. If there's anybody. There's spirits or anything that wants to make their presence known. That was the time. Walk towards us. Walk towards this green light. It has dropped a bit. It's only six degrees. It went two degrees down from just like two minutes ago. Oh, it's dropped again. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. It is 05 right now, guys. It was just 08, like, not even two minutes ago. So, now it is cold out here. That could be the reason why it's going down, but it's just crazy that it just dropped three degrees, like, real quick. Hold up for a sec. I'm gonna get in here and ask a question, see if we can get anything. It's just at 11. It almost looks like we're just right behind it. I can't really see us. Anyone here that would like to talk to us right now, please let your presence be known. Don't be afraid to approach us. Just want to know your story, just want to talk. We're not getting much. I want to know exactly what's up there. That's, that's the room I'm interested in.
Alright guys, it looks like we're going to have to get out and walk. <laughs> All right, we got the lights. Get in the car and drive around, I guess. I, think I feel like it's got to be here somewhere. I don't think there's really anyone else to drive. I'm pretty sure there's the end of it. I guess we could turn around and see if we go further up, but it looks like it's the end right there. Uh, it's fucking cold out here, guys, if you can't tell by all the fucking snow. It's cold, it's snowing, it's dark. Made for a horror movie. Well, how many people walk through a graveyard at night? Guys? That's what we're here for. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick look. All right, guys, we're back in the room. Unfortunately, our camera did mysteriously die in the graveyard, but uh, we're fully charged up right now, and we're going to head on over to the restaurant area that apparently we're going to be breaking into. Breaking into a permission. Yes. Just hold that for a second here. <clears throat> I just want to wear my gloves just in case it's supposedly very dirty and dusty up there, so I don't want to leave any fingerprints just in case we get caught. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have EMF readers going. We brought our voice recorder. Wait, uh, so as you can tell, that focuses. Zero, zero, zero is 27 degrees right now. Uh, make sure they saw yours. Mom doesn't have a. Uh... No, no degrees, but it's all zeros. Yeah. But so we know that. Oh, let's go and see what we can get. Alright. It is hard to uh, definitely see the screen on this, but I hope we're. We got something. Yeah, right here. Oh. Jumping up and down, just little flickers. Hopefully, we, okay, point, point 0.18. Yes. There's a few ways that we can make sure that yours is up and running too. Right? At we're at point one five. Two. We hit two. Oh. 
So we're getting some stuff here, guys. This is the way to the uh, the old house, like the original house that was built. table in the middle there. Do you think we could do the uh, the Ouija board in here? That'd be awesome. Okay, we're gonna well, there we are guys. Oh it turned off? Yeah. Did it power? Yeah it said it turned back on. Oh. There you have it. Crazy shit. Yeah, so we got some powder. Mm -hmm. Right side of the road. Dude. Who's just at eight? The fact that the bottom one is going off and the top one's not going off, that's crazy. Alright, so we got something here. And I got nothing on mine. Nope. Is there anything here that could put this off? There's nothing here that would set this off. It's going up. It's going up. Now it's down to zero. So maybe it's like, you know what? The mirror is said that, you know, mirror with mirrors. With that mirror. Yeah, it's a, it's a vortex. It's not straight on, but it's so it doesn't need to be straight on. Alright, so I don't know if you guys know this, but there's there's a theory called the vortex that if a mirror on one side of the room and a mirror on the other side kind of reflect off each other, that is to said to be like a vortex. And uh, that's like where ghosts can come through and stuff. And it's right here, like right, basically. You can see it right in the sink it's like right, you know what, too? And it's right here where you can see the mirror. Yeah. And on this cool. side, you can't even see the mirror, so it's like, oh, you never mind. Here, but you can see the mirror on this side. Yeah. Through here. Yo, oh, that is crazy. All right. So we're, we're getting some stuff here. Now I want to like let's recalibrate it because it did turn off. So let's power it off. We're gonna power it off, we're gonna turn it back on. So it kind of recalibrates itself right there. And it shows zeros. Because if we can get anything. Yeah, there's something here, guys. So this is, I think this is actually, uh, oh, and there's another mirror you can here. See this, you can see that middle mirror. Through you this can mirror. see the mirror too, oh, that is crazy. Now both of them. Yeah. Both of them, top and bottom. Oh, shit. 65. That's like danger zones, guys. Now, I don't know why mine's not going off. Let me, uh, let me try recalibrating mine. The funny thing is, you know what? We've actually gone down two degrees since we left our room. Now, it, do, it does feel a little bit cooler in the hallway than it did our room, but... It's gone down to 25. I'm actually, I'm showing something here. Yeah, not good. Oh, no. Nothing on the VM, but the uh, the MG is definitely going up. I'm getting like twos and threes now, and I was getting eights in the same area that I was in. So, yeah, so. it's not like there's anything. Yeah, like here, I'm, I'm getting a little bit here, but not much, like so same like as you. There's an electrical room or a maintenance room nearby yeah, like, setting it off because it's not I, consistent. 
Okay, so. Over here. Oh, I'm not getting it. Like, I'm getting twos here. So, obviously, like, two different, you know, EMF readers. One might catch something, the other one doesn't. That's why we have to, to make sure that we catch all angles. But, uh, let's head down and talk to, uh, the girl. And see if we can get into the restaurant. We'll come back this way after. Getting three. Yeah, so there's definitely something in this hallway. Like, you can see the pictures in this hallway. There has been said that this hallway is kind of what connects the old place to the new place. So there has been activity in this hallway. So, but we'll, uh, we'll get back right to you guys. We're gonna, we're gonna go talk to the uh, front desk lady and see if we can get into the restaurant. Okay guys, so if you're wondering why we haven't recorded the third person with us, it's the fact that we're not allowed to be in here. So she's kind of breaking the law for like the rules. Oh shit. You got it? I did. You did? Yeah. Oh snap guys, <laughs> we are going. Perfect, thank you. Good night. Thank you. I'll good see night. You yeah. Say good night. Shit, we're dead. Alright guys. So story has it that one of the family members was killed back here. And they've uh, they've kind of closed it off now to the public. But we're gonna get a sneak preview, guys. There hasn't been anybody up here outside of staff in forever. What's that? No, I just turned it off. So, dude, look at that. Oh, shit. Almost fell over. Huh? Teacups and stuff up here that I probably hear from before. Okay. It is very dirty up here, as I said. Definitely, uh, they don't make a habit of coming up here. You gotta be very careful too, guys, because this, this wood is very old. Okay, this is the, uh, this is, holy shit, that is, my, my fat ass can't move through. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ, the things I do for science. Yes, science! This is it. So guys, we are right up top. You know what, we need a ghost guy sticker or something. Now, this is part of the original house, guys. Uh, very old, very dirty, obviously. Not a lot of people come up here, but how awesome would it be to do the Ouija board session right here? Uh, maybe, maybe if this video gets like 10,000 likes, we'll do that up. As, as you can tell, this, this stairway is not that big.
This has definitely been closed to the public for years. I don't think this place has actually never been open to the public. I'm telling you, man, my fat ass is going through these fucking boards. <laughs> Guys, this is a first, guys. You're getting a look at a place that hasn't seen the public eye so in here. Like yeah. So that definitely makes sense on the, uh, we're down to 16 degrees right now. And it looks like there's an opening there. Yeah. Actually, stay there, stay here. See if you can see my lights from the other room. Maybe it just goes into this room here. Oh no, never mind, it doesn't go there. Okay. As you can see, the fact that they just left all this stuff up here amazes me. Like sinks, chairs, like I know they don't come up here because of the paranormal activity. It's said to be dangerous, but all right. What time is it? I think we make our way back. Is this like that's where it what would be probably once we like shimmy back there and see if we can actually choose our clock to the public or something? Here, wait. One sec. I'm gonna make my way over there. Go. Nope. So guys, oh yeah, it does come out this way. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt to go back this way without killing myself. Dude, I just went up to 16, 160. Really? Yeah. Did I reset it because it froze? Yes. Sally, if you are here, or Mary. Sally. Sally. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Sally, Mary, it don't matter. Whoever's here. Mary, if you're here, make your presence felt. I'm not getting anything now. I think it's time to make our way out of here. Okay, 3.1. It's like when I go to my pocket. It's in my pocket. There's nothing in my pocket. There's something here, but we're down to 11 degrees, guys. It is fucking freezing up here, too. Okay, we're gonna make our way down. <laughs> 
is our first video. This is the shit we're going through, climbing through old ass abandoned attics. Don't tell us we don't commit. Hello there. Hello there. Is there anything here? Make your presence felt. Mary, are you here with us? I don't know. I'm not getting anything. Could have been a rat. Raccoon. The Bigfoot. Who knows? It's fucking cold up there. Okay. And uh, yeah, what do you think, Sean? Was that crazy or what? That was fucking nuts. All right, well, we'll see you guys. So. Okay, so, so yeah, so tell us that. Not only has she been on board with everything we're doing, not only has the person at the front desk and the manager oh, yeah. we'll turn helped us out it. way more than we expected, but now they're giving us access after hours to what she says is the most active place on the whole site yeah. which is the carriage house or yeah. the carriage room the little banquet hall that they use for events off to the side yeah you, you also saw that earlier we had taken video of it where the silo is yeah. now we're gonna do two trips we're gonna go in about about 15 20 minutes from now just to kind of get a feel of the place see the layout so we know what we're doing when we go there at 3 a.m. guys 3 a.m. now here's the problem 3 a.m. we're doing the Ouija board session do we dare do the Ouija board session in the most haunted place on site what do you think Are you out of your goddamn mind or Listen, to be honest I'm not doing Ouija boards no, I'm doing I'm doing a Ouija board we're we're gonna we're gonna talk about this we we got to do the ouija board though at three and we want to go through there because as i said it's by far the most uh haunted place on site apparently that's all the stories are coming out of there the story that the manager herself actually just gave us was that two very athletic people uh, a man and his wife or girlfriend at the time uh, were here for a night wanted to use the gym after hours and she allowed them the access to use the gym she let them in she said just close the door behind you when you're done i'm gonna go back into the hotel she said not even 10 minutes later these two big muscular strong people came running up the driveway into the hotel practically crying because they heard a noise and said that they felt somebody touching their feet as they ran up the stairs. Yeah. So, so that's, that's where crazy. we're going. That's what we're that's doing what we're here. Doing. So how you guys spreading your Wednesday night, you know? <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna attempt. It's 1.30 in the morning right now. So I got about an hour and a half to kill before we go do the, the Ouija board in the uh, carriage room. So we're gonna attempt to do the SS method right now. Uh, make sure that these are all on. So we got the tennis balls, the light balls placed all around the room. Uh, we got both EMF readers going. Basically what the SS method is, if you guys don't know, it's basically it's a thing you call the spirit box. Basically it's like a little radio, handheld radio, that flips through channels real, real quick. 
and then one guy asks the questions, the other guy that has the headphones on listening to the radio just kind of blurts out the words that he hears off the radio. Unfortunately, we don't have that radio because it's about a $500 machine. So we uh, basically bought an app because everything's digital nowadays. So we got a little app on my, my Android phone, which does the same thing. So we're gonna attempt to uh, try this right now. So basically, step number one is blindfold yourself. You're gonna look like a dumbass. <laughs> All right, step number two is Better turn on the machine. So I'll put this right up close to so you kind of hear what I'm going to listen to. It's just white static noise. And basically, they they say that ghosts can pick up on the, the white noise and just be able to communicate with you through it. So. Sean will tap me on the shoulder or on the, the knee when he's ready to start asking the, the important questions and I'm going to start blurring out whatever I hear through these headphones. We'll see you in a few minutes. What is your name? Who's here with us right now? Here. Yes, who's here with us right now? In this room, in this building, on these grounds. Yes. Do you live here? Are you trapped here? Mary. Mary. You just said Mary. Cheater. Was your husband a cheater? Is that why you murdered him? Children. Did you murder your family? Did you murder your husband and your children? Go. Go. Where do you want us to go? You want us to go to the carriage house? Now. Go now to the carriage house? What do you want to tell us? Hate. Hate? Do you have hate for yourself? Burn. Do you hate yourself for what you did to your family? Burn. Crying. Crying. Were your kids crying? James. James. Yes. All right, this is starting to get a little bit weird. She said James, she said Mary. Where do you want us to go next? Do you want us to come five. and see? Five. Five? Is there five, five people that died? Five people that Murdered. died? Five people that were murdered. All right, what what else do you need to tell us? Wife. Why did it happen? Why did you kill them all? Was your husband a cheater? Hang. And you found them? And then you hung yourself? Children. Children again. Yes. If there's any spirits in this it's room. It's me. It's you. Who's me? Mary? Are we speaking with Mary right now? Horses. Horses. Oh, the horse and buggy, the horse and carriage. I'm here. I'm here. If you're in this room, make some noise. Knock over a ball. Hit one of the Leave. bells. 
Leave. Go. You want us to leave? You want us now. to go? Alright, this is getting a little bit weird. Yeah, that was creepy. You have to know that you said some shit, right? Oh, yeah. You know oh, that you said, you know, you said, James, said Mary, kids or children. Yep. Did it match up with any of the questions that you were asking? Uh, yeah, here and there. Here and there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, quite the experience. I've never tried it. I don't know how anybody does that. Yeah, that's crazy. Or, or for definitely gonna have to check that footage out again. But yeah. I was hoping she would like move a ball or something like that, make a bell go off. Well, nothing moved, eh? No. Was that on when we started? Yeah, it was. This one's on. Yeah. Did you ask her to maybe turn it off at any point in time? No. I didn't ask her to turn it off. Could be a coincidence this thing's gone off on me a couple times tonight. Or it could be just going off because somebody or something is shutting it off. This has been the sensitive one throughout the night. This one's been going off more than that one, so... Yeah. Makes sense if somebody was trying to mess with one of them, it would be this one. Whew. Well, quite the experience, guys. We're gonna have to review that footage, but uh, hopefully, we got some good shit on that one. That was it's quite the shit that would have like it, like, jumbles through really fast. And yeah, it's so really hard. To... It, but so hard to make it out. Yeah. Catch the words. Like I, I think <laughs> even if you second guess yourself for a second, like you miss the word and then you forget and then like yeah, it's, yeah, there's, it's tough. There, there's a lot of parts where it's like you hear a word and then another word and another word, and by the time you you, you understand like what the first word was, you forgot the other two. Yeah. So <coughs> now that might be due to the fact that we have an app and it's not the real thing. Uh, we we want to eventually get the real thing and attempt uh, this obviously again, but we just wanted to see this app, see if it works. So we, we took some footage, we're gonna review it, see see if we got anything cool. But uh, now we're gonna have to go Ouija board. Can't wait for that. And if you guys want to see us use actual equipment an actual spirit box, uh, some more technical EMF readers, uh, some heat sensing cameras, things like that. Make sure to support us by hitting the like, leaving a comment, turning on the notification bell, because that's how we're gonna get our support to progress, to build, to grow. We need your support, so hook us up. One on the table. And then one not even close to us. All right, guys, don't try this at home. We're breaking every rule there is with the Ouija board and playing alone. And uh, we're definitely gonna try and entice some reactions. So. Friends we've gathered, hearts are true. Spirits near, we call to you. There's a spirit here with us that wants to communicate. Let your presence be known through the Ouija board.
is a ghost that isn't Mary or James here with us today. Goodbye. Take a couple minutes. Let's see what that was. Is there anybody else in here with us right now? <laughs> we came to this place to communicate with whoever stays here. We've attempted to contact you to get any sign that you're here. Now we're here on your time. If there's anybody in this building with us right now. Give us a sign. All right guys, we investigated what the noise was. Uh, we didn't see anything. So we're back at it. And we're uh, we're gonna try and kind of push it a bit more. We're gonna, uh, rule number two, do not entice the ghosts. Well, we're gonna do that right now, so. As friends we've gathered, hearts are true, ghosts, are near we call to you Mary if you're here with us give us a sign I demand you to reveal yourself if you're here with us let it be known through this board or one of our many equipment. There's another sound over there. We go. Maybe we should have went down there and done the Ouija board. Don't be shy. Don't be scared. We're here to communicate with you. So if you're trying to make a noise. If you're trying to make yourself present so that we know you're here, make a louder noise, come closer to us. Use one of the devices that we have on the table. Okay, that one does go up once in a while, but this one, that never went up before. That's the first for that one. Mary, I demand you show yourself. No more hide and seek. I just heard something behind me to my right. Yeah, so did I. Show yourself. No more games, Mary. I demand you come out. Mary, to get over there. Mm -hmm. Blow out one of our candles. Yeah, now I heard it from the stairwell. Come on, Mary. Show me your power. Are you here with us right now? Make a sound. All right. 
Alright, well, have it your way. Goodbye. Alright guys, well, it has been about 20 minutes so far. We got nothing yet. We're going to take a five minute break. Just investigate those sounds that we did here. See if it was anything creeping around. And uh, maybe we'll give the Ouija board one last go before we call it a night. Alright All right, guys, we're doing one more session. We investigated all the noises. We got nothing. So, <coughs> one more go. Let's turn these bad boys on. Zeros and zeros. Alright. As friends we've gathered, hearts are true. Ghosts near, we call to you. Mary, last chance. If you're here with us, let us know. Through any of our equipment. James Harris, if you're with us tonight, let us know. If there's any other presence here, human or demonic, let us know. Mary, I demand you to reveal yourself. I demand you to reveal yourself. What a fucking disappointment she is. <laughs> Last chance, Mary. I'm packing up my shit and I'm out of here. Dude, oh shit. What the fuck was that? That ball just fell? Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, anything on you, Mary, if you're here. Oh, nothing. It's still going off, but that's not supposed to be going off that long. Mary, if you're here with us right now, make something, okay? Move it again. Mary. Whoever's in here with us, move the ball again. Last chance, Mary. I demand you to reveal yourself. Another noise again. Mm -hmm. Are you here with us? Like, Pletchett is actually moving a little bit. But. Mary, are you here with us right now? I need an answer. I demand you to give me an answer. If it's not Mary, who is it? Give me your name. It's just moving. It's just not going anywhere. Yeah. 
there's anybody here right now with us, let us know. It's like it's like moving a little bit, but it's like that one going off again. Okay, we got an F. Again, something, but if there's anyone here right now with us, this is your time. I heard it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, it's moving. I don't know. Moving on. There it is again. Give us your name. I demand you to give me your name. Who are you? I like barely touch it. I like kind of left off my fingers just enough. A. James. James Harris? Are you James Harris? The person that built this barn? Yes. Is there anything you want us to, to, to know? Were you murdered, James Harris? Did your wife kill you? What's a lie? Is that a lie that your wife killed you? No. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is her 
What's a lie, James? Is it a lie that you cheated on your wife? No. Both of them turned off. It's not a lie that... It's not a lie that his wife killed him. It's not a lie that he cheated on his wife. What is a lie? Is there anybody else here with you, James? Are you by yourself? No, you're not by yourself. Is there another presence here? Is Mary here with you? James, is Mary here with you? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm not even touching on the plane. <laughs> no. Are your children here with you? Is the woman that you cheated on Mary with here with you? No. Who's here with you, James? E. What's evil, James? I heard it again. Is the spirit that's here with you evil? Yes. I'm speaking to the evil entity that's with James. What is your name? I demand you to reveal your name. James, can you tell me the evil spirit's name? James, can you tell me the evil spirit's name? Not James. I want to know. Goodbye. James? James? Are you still with us? I think he's done. James, are you still with us? <coughs> All I gotta say is I'm glad you're doing that now. Goodbye. There's, there's all kinds of possibilities. It's snowing out here, mother. We haven't gone that long. Alright, guys, we're headed back to our room. I think we're going to call it here, kind of. It's 
snowing again. It's going to be a bitch drive home tomorrow. It's kind of getting thick snow too. All right, guys. We'll uh, we'll see you when we do the outro. Until then, peace, Sean. Um, first video ever. Uh, we ended up picking a place in Ingersoll, mainly because of the cool story, and it helped that it was close to us. So we didn't really want to go too far, uh, but. The story was crazy. Uh, the story that we had kind of read up online compared to the story that we heard from the staff there was a little bit different, but it was so much more added on, like stuff that you can't really find online. So, and uh, yeah, it made the story so much better in my opinion. Like the stuff we heard. Yeah, having actual staff members that work on the site and people that live in the town or the city you know the background about the, the area and things like that definitely helped us out a lot because we kind of ran into a wall doing our research online and they were able to kind of help us progress with the story um, yeah it was, it was great everybody at Elmhurst like all the staff was actually incredibly helpful and surprising we thought we were gonna have a tough time getting through all the areas in the hotel and they basically opened it up to us to kind of walk around and film where we Every, everywhere even areas that you're technically not even allowed to walk into so that was like a crazy yeah. moment for us it was cool we we're probably the first people or like some of the only people to really get to see that part of the now, now you guys are gonna see some of people but uh yeah, they, they were awesome. Five star review to that place. Like. So as far as the ghost goes, guys, and uh, everything you get to see through our video, obviously take it for what it is. You know, make your own conclusions. Uh, we're here to provide the evidence that we find for you guys. Yeah, we, and, got, some, we got some EMF readings oh, in yeah, some areas. Especially uh, that vortex area, like where the three mirrors were. Yeah, that was yeah great. we heard some noises, had a, a couple like light movements of some objects, like our test balls and things like that. But you'll get you'll get to see or have already seen uh, that through our videos. Yeah. But yeah, until uh, until right. next time, until we find our next uh, destination. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments and we'll be right. sure to check them out. And make sure you guys hit that follow button, that subscribe button, that notification button. Helps us out guys, it's free. You don't have to pay anything for that. And it definitely helps us out. It shows uh, YouTube that you guys enjoyed the content we were making. And uh, that will help us push it out to more people. And it also helps us know that we're doing a good job with the content that we're getting. So that way, you know, if you guys have any other ideas about stuff that we could do, uh, definitely hit them in the comments. Mm -hmm. We'd like to, like to bring up new stuff. And uh, yeah, eventually it's just going to get bigger and better, guys. we got many locations kind of lined up. So uh, we're excited to, to kind of go through all these places and see what we find by the end of the season. Um, and then uh, hopefully you guys just come along for the ride. Because that's basically what it's going to be. It's going to be a fun ride, guys. And it'll be an interesting one. That's that's cool. Cool. And what a great place to start, you know. Yeah. All right, guys. Until next time. I'm Steve. I'm Sean. And we are. Off to Ingersoll, folks. Here we go. This ghost named Mary. Mary. Yeah. Coming for you, Mary. Where are the goats coming for you? Where are the goats?
the Mary name was way down the line. So it's just like, how does that? What? I don't understand. Unless they had another daughter and named her Mary. Take Very the possible. Ontario 401 East exit. Seems like Mary was a very popular yeah, name. Yeah, like back in the day, ago. they used to have a lot of names over and over. Continue on Ontario 401 East for 29 kilometers. guys just doing some pictures and some stock footage while Steve is getting some more equipment I actually just stumbled upon what looks like a little meeting area with a fire pit Kind of cool, but it's definitely in like a secluded area back here in the bush. A little bit creepy. Could be something to check out later on when Steve gets back. For now, I'm gonna just keep doing my thing. All this area back here is in the back end. Can't even see that stuff in the front. Not really talked about too much in the description of the hotel, so there's a lot more to this place than meets the eye. It's crazy. All right, guys, we're back in the car. Uh, yeah, we we walked all around this place. We couldn't find the uh, the tombstone, and uh, now we're just freezing. Yeah, we looked. We walked around the whole place a few times. Yeah. At least, yeah, we were here for at least 20 or 25 minutes. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna head back to the hotel now, and we're uh, we're gonna go back down to the, uh, the secret uh, little trail there. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Let's check out. All right, guys. Well, it is the next day officially. We are leaving Elmhurst. John, what do you think? It's fun, but I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> Ghost hunting be, be draining, you know what I mean? And uh, it looks like uh, we had a little bit of a snowstorm uh, during the night. So, should be a fun ride home. Guys, we'll, uh, we'll do the outro once we get back to my place. Till then, peace out. Because <laughs> uh, I'm like Scooby-Doo running run to the mystery machine you know so it's a uh, this is a very uh, I already like felt my adrenaline going and uh, just doing nothing so I mean um, well, well you'll definitely know if it's something <laughs> all right guys we'll shut this off oh it's off and uh, yeah I think that's where we'll call it a night we heard something what the heck was that <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to investigate. Because that's what we do here on Ghost Guys. That was definitely a thought. Yep. All right. As soon as, as soon as you shut that meter off. Yeah. Let's take a walk.
came from the stair area here. That was me, by the way, guys. I just want to see if it kind of echoes back. That, that was you. That, that thumb wasn't you, the original one. No, I just wanted to see if anything would come back to us. Okay, so we're going to take a walk downstairs. We'll just pick up all our stuff here. And <laughs> I definitely got We'll it. definitely investigate. Yeah, Can you grab it? I thought that was your phone charger. Grab this for a second. Um, yeah. I definitely got a bit of a buzz chill after that. Cause that was like a, a thump and there's nothing up here to thump. Like it's all nothing. There's nothing here. Oh man. That's uh, that's something. Oh, what the fuck? Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs>